Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginner and in the last video we have discussed about array and the properties of array and how you can iterate through an array using for and for each loop. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go ahead and check that out and in this video we are going to discuss about that destructuring. So what is destructuring? Let's say you have an object and that object may contain n number of properties. The properties can be a key value pair or it can be a function or it can be an another object. So when you are using that object, you can import only what are all the properties that you require for that particular project. That's the purpose of destructuring and this destructuring makes the code much efficient and easy to read. So in the initial stage, it may look quite complex, but once you start practicing it, you can get familiar with that. So let's see how the destructuring work. Let me create a new file. Let me name this file as destructuring.js. So let's create an object. Let's name this object as a person with a key value pair of name followed by age. And let's say greet function that we have discussed already. So this is a very simple object and in this object if you want to access the property name you can access that using a person dot name. So this is how we are accessing so far but there is an another way of accessing the name using the destructuring property. So let me create a const and put a curly braces and an empty curly braces equal to person so we have created a const object and assigned to the person object okay so in this const object i need to import only the name property to this const object so to do that you have to just give the name that's it and if you print the name turing.js you can see that it print the word mike because this object get destructured and it extract only the name property from this object and you can use the same destructuring principle on array as well so we have defined an array with the type of class so if you want to destructure, you have to use an empty array and assign that empty array to the cars array. Okay. So this empty array is just mapped to the cars array. Okay. So if I want to access this one, I have to give a name, let's say car one, car two, and car three. Three, that's it. If I print this one, let's say car one, comma car two, and car three, then let's see what happens. You can see that the extracted BNW already and true because this assigned this variable get assigned to the item in an array in an ascending order from left to right. So this is how you have to destructure the array and in object to destructure you have to use a curly braces and in array you have to use a square bracket. So that's the basic difference uh, in destructuring between objects and arrays and going forward we are going to use this destructuring a lot when we are working in npm packages and that's it for this video. If you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.